Thank you all for being here. You know, it is great to be joined by, by so many leaders throughout the entire city and region of our arts and culture uh, community for today's uh, announcement. Uh, joining me, of course, uh, behind me is uh, City Council Member Lori Zaff, Jonathan Gluss, who I'm going to introduce in just a second, Janine, Janet Constantine uh, Poutre, who's chair of the Arts and Culture Commission, Steve Snyder, of course, president and CEO of the Fleet Science Center. We just saw some great musicians from our San Diego Symphony Orchestra. Uh, great folks from our San Diego Junior Theater, Hartman, who was just here from the Fern Street Circus, uh, and of course, uh, leaders uh, from our arts and culture community, and so many of our kids who are out here today, too. Thank you for helping. Great greeters. Uh, we are here today, uh, obviously, as a arts and culture community to announce the appointment of Jonathan Gluss as the newly hired executive director of San Diego's Arts and Culture Commission. Jonathan, congratulations. As everyone behind me here knows, and I think all of you, uh, we have a thriving arts and culture scene in San Diego, and we have cultural offerings that inspire our senses. We have artistic experiences that evoke our emotions, and we have performances and exhibits that challenge our minds. Um, Jonathan comes in at a great time and a thriving scene. And a tall order, of course, is to make sure that our arts and culture community remains the envy of other cities, not only across the country, but around the globe. Um, he is the right person at the right time. Um, as I think you all know, to make this arts and culture scene as vibrant as it is and bringing everybody together, um, we rely on the work, and I rely as mayor of the work of the Arts and Culture Commission of volunteers who love this city, who love our region, who love the thriving arts scene, and do it because um, they just believe in it so much, it's in their hearts, it's in their souls, and want to make this city and this region the best when it comes to arts and culture. The commission does serve as an advisor to the mayor's office and the city council to promote the arts and showcase San Diego as a cultural destination from our wide array of nationally recognized theaters, of course, and museums, to our celebrated dance and art centers and music. The organizations that receive city funds work hard every day to educate, to entertain, and to inspire San Diegans. This fiscal year, more than 130 local arts and culture nonprofit organizations received over $11 million in funding. And these, those deserving organizations then use those dollars to create exciting performances, public art, and educational exhibits that enrich the lives of all San Diegans. That's why the Arts and Culture Commission is so incredibly important. And of course, that's where Jonathan comes in. Jonathan comes to San Diego from the city of Sacramento, where he served as the Director of Culture and Creative Economy. And in that role, he was responsible for bringing together innovation, arts, and culture, and creative businesses in the city. He was also responsible for directing Sacramento's first comprehensive cultural planning process in over 20 years. And I can tell you firsthand that his experience in the areas of arts programming, placemaking, and cultural policy make him the perfect fit to take the lead here in San Diego. So I am confident that Jonathan is going to be a great addition to our very strong arts and culture scene and build on the momentum that is generated by so many of the people uh, that are standing with us here today. So Jonathan, I know that you are excited to be here as everyone else is. I had a chance to uh, chat with him uh, two weeks ago at length in Sacramento and he was uh, itching and raring to, to get down here. Got down here last night at midnight. So here he is, he's ready, <laughs> ready to go. First day on the job. So Jonathan, um, as you can see by the smiles and the folks that, um, you, there's just a, a flavor and a taste that are here this morning. Um, we welcome you. We welcome your leadership and we look forward to seeing where you're gonna do along with our entire commission and stakeholders to really take San Diego's arts and culture scene to the next level. So thank you very much. Before we introduce Jonathan, I want to introduce somebody. It's a partnership between, the, obviously, the mayor's office and our city council members. Uh, someone who's been a true champion for the arts and culture, uh, particularly during budget time. Strong advocate, pushing very hard. Council member Lori Zaff. Lori? Uh, thank you. 
you. Uh, this, is, uh, this is fantastic. First of all, I miss being here with my little kiddos. Um, I just have to borrow kids now, I guess, to, to come and bring them. But um, music and art and culture is in my blood. My, my dad's side of the family, uh, they're all professional musicians, so they were in symphonies and, and, and bands and orchestras. And as many uh, lessons as I've taken with the clarinet and the piano and the flute and everything, my DNA is to be an appreciative audience member. And so <laughs> I'm a very appreciative audience member. Um, but in exposure to the arts and culture, it's a vital part of our human experience. Uh, music, art, theater, festivals, um, they all have the power to enrich our lives and also change our perspectives. Um, having a city that fosters and promotes creativity, not only produces well-rounded people, but the likelihood of success for them uh, in every way, social, academic, and, and scientific. And a good city provides libraries, provides park and rec, and, and police, and public safety, but a really great city, a really great city, helps to fund and promote both art and culture. And right here, we have, yeah, applause line. Woo! be America's greatest city, and uh, finest, but greatest. And uh, we have a very vibrant arts and culture community. I've been to just so many of the venues, and it's we're really diverse here in San Diego. We're diverse, we're culturally rich, and um, we, we need to continue that and, and promote it and increase that in order to serve and grow our local economy, our quality of life, and again, our unique cultural uh, diversity. The, the Arts and Commission and the money that we at the city help to, um, how do I say this? We at the city help to enrich these programs like um, the Asian Film Festival, the Linda Vista Multicultural Fair, Pride, our wonderful symphony, ballet, the many, many world-class theaters we have right here in San Diego, the opera. All of these organizations get help and funding from our arts and culture community. So you can see that it is really a fabric of our life. And we have three, uh, almost four million uh, tourists participating in arts and culture every year. So it is really paramount that we have a very strong leader and a very supportive council and mayor, which we do, um, to make sure that <clears throat> our arts and culture community uh, grows. So I'm really looking forward uh, to working with you, and I would like to be the first council member to welcome Jonathan Glass, our new executive director for Arts and Culture Commission. I look forward so much to working with you, and so uh, let's get you on my schedule. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>